Thank you for joining me today. We live in a time unlike any other. If you had the time and the resource, we sure had the motivation to try to find a place of respite where we could be away from all that's going on and not have to be confronted by the deluge of constant news that seems to be troubling. But in the day we're living in, we find ourselves without a place to go. And even if you had a place to go, how would you get there without being affected, without being touched by all that's going on around us? But in the midst of all that, different than any time we have lived in, we find ourselves with the greatest option that has always been there, and that is refuge in the Lord. He's a resting place. He's a place of recovery. He's a place of strength and hope and gladness. If we look at the scripture in Psalm 46, it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. What a comfort that is. It says in God, it is a place that there is refreshing rivers and streams that shall make glad the city of God. God is in the midst of us, and we will not be moved, Scripture says. God will help us just at the break of dawn. Isn't that an awesome passage? He won't wait until the end of the day. He will come early and meet with us. I believe that that is the time that the Lord came in the Garden of Eden to meet with Adam and Eve at the beginning of creation. He would come in the cool of the day before the heat came and before responsibilities came to spend time and comfort. If we look at verse 10 of Psalm 46, it says, Be still and know that I am God. Maybe more than at any time in our life, we are having to be more calm and be still than ever before. Isn't that interesting how the times change and circumstances around us and that it's not just a few of us or a nation, but it's affected our world. And yet the Lord says, don't be overwhelmed and don't be over anxious but to be still and find out who I am. Know that I am God. He says, I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Aren't you thankful for that today? I looked up some verses of scripture. Exodus 33 verse 22 says that I will put my put you in the cleft of the rock and will cover you with my hand. God was speaking to Moses. And then in Deuteronomy 33, 27, he says, the eternal God is your refuge and underneath are his everlasting arms. In Psalm 27, verse five, David says, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. In Psalm 31, verse 20, it says, You shall hide them in the secret place. It's what he referred to in 27, 5. But here in 31, 20, he identifies what that place is. You shall hide them in the secret place of your presence. There's an old chorus that says, Shut in with God in a secret place. There in the spirit, beholding his face, gaining new power to run in the race. I long to be shut in with God. In Psalm 46 that we've been reading today, he reminds us again, God is a present help. It's in his presence that we're helped. And he is with us to help us, to resource whatever it is that we have need of. He is a present help when trouble is around. It says in the verse 5, God will be in our midst and we shall not be moved. God will help us and quickly he will do that. In Psalm 71, it says, in you, 
O Lord, I will put my trust. And that's what I encourage you to do today. Whatever it is that's on your heart or on your mind, weighing in your spirit, I want you to place your trust in the Lord. Trust him with all your heart, as it says in Proverbs 3, that we will uh, realize the blessing of the Lord and his favor, not to depend on things that we have always depended on that today are failing us. We don't have all the comforts and all the ease that seemed to be there before this calamity hit. But we today still have God. We still have his promises. We still have his presence. And I encourage you to enter in mentally, emotionally, spiritually, in your conversation, in your rising up and your sitting down. Create a place for the Lord to be with you, for it's in his presence that we find the resources that we have need of each and every day. Proverbs 14, 26 and 27 says, in the fear, and in this instance in scripture, it is not speaking of being afraid of God, but in the reverence and respect of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. The fear or reverence and respect of the Lord is a fountain of life, and it will cause us to be able to be set free from the snares of death. Proverbs 18 verse 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it and are safe. We remember that scripture says, just at the mention of the name of Jesus, demons and darkness has to flee, and his presence and peace comes to abide with us. Isaiah 25 verse 4 says, For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in times of distress, a refuge from the storms, a shadow from the heat. And in Zechariah chapter 9, it says, Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. So it's a safe place. We're shut in with God. We're in his presence, that place that is a secret place. Most people have never known that it exists. And maybe some of us have not taken time to spin there, and we might have forgotten that it is in his presence there is peace and joy and comfort, and strength, the secret place that David talked about, shut in with God in his presence, alone with him, in a time of prayer and worship and communion. If you look at the Amplified Version, it says in Zechariah 9.12, return to the stronghold, the place of security and prosperity. And he calls us prisoners of hope. Today, we're captured by hope. We are surrounded by trouble, and inwardly, we are encouraging hope to be strengthened and to stay until this time of storm leaves us. But he says, even today, I declare that I will restore to you double of your former prosperity. I believe that God is the God of his word. We can be comforted and encouraged to know that when we trust in the Lord, go into that secret place of God's presence, that when trouble surrounds us, he will keep us in perfect peace. Would you spend a moment in prayer with me today? Oh, Father, thank you today for your great love. Thank you, Lord, that you have not abandoned us, that you, Lord, are right by our side. Help us, Lord, to be able to realize that, to sense your presence, to experience your peace, to find new joy and increased hope. I praise you today, Lord, that you are drawing near as we speak the name of your son, Jesus, and as we worship you in our spirit. Oh, Lord, that you will reciprocate and draw near to us, and we will be able to enjoy the peace and the wonderful presence of your spirit. We thank you today, Lord, that you are drawing near. Help them to feel your presence and your peace throughout the day, in the evening, and in the days to come, that we will see you glorified, see your promises fulfilled, and be able to experience again the peace of God. 
We ask it in the most powerful and precious name of your son, Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.